Yes, Casey, I'm going to help you. You may have heard their commercials during a Pandora break or even seen their ads in U-Dress, the campus fashion magazine. Either way, Plato's Closet, an upscale thrift shop just off campus, is becoming a popular place for UD students to shop and even make a buck. With Plato's Closet, it sort of created this culture that, um, you know, things that have been worn can be cute and they can be something that you can incorporate into your, into your wardrobe. I think thrift shops are one of our greatest tools to promoting sustainability. Any reusing, any recycling, any you know, passing clothing on to other people, any hand-me-downs is so beneficial to the environment and to just um, our culture in general. Unlike other major chain retailers who concentrate more on cost than environmental impact, Plato's Closet has both in mind. The way that it helps the community is you get, um, number one, it helps out with, you know, your pocket, your budget a little bit. Um, number two, things aren't going to waste. They're not ending up, you know, just trash. And they're getting, you know, recycled. It's just reusing and recycling, and that benefits everybody. Americans throw away 70 pounds of clothes annually, and 85% of those clothes end up in landfills. America definitely has greater textile waste than any other country in the world. And when you buy from a thrift store, it's reusing those materials and you're getting them at a lower price anyway. Before Plato's Closet, there was really just Goodwill and Salvation Army. And I think Plato's Closet has a stronger brand. I think Goodwill has a big compilation of a whole bunch of stuff, whereas Plato's Closet actually is very selective about the items that they pick. It's not just a thrift store, it's an actual brand and they actually feature clothing that they think would appeal to their customer. Thrift stores are the perfect example of one person's trash being another person's treasure. And this treasure hunt could lead to finding something valuable for next to nothing while simultaneously helping the environment. For 49 News, I'm Julia Giambastiani.